you surprised me when you came. I didn't expect you so soon. I, w I was afraid. I wanted to run away and I tripped. You were afraid of me? My father said I wasn't to show myself. When I realized you were going to find my hiding place, I panicked. Very clever. You weren't any better. When the statue screamed, you didn't think twice either and took to your heels. Of course. I wanted to guide you to the bush that cures the fever. Wouldn't it have been simpler to prepare the medicine for me? Too easy. Daddy told me specifically not to help you too much. Uh, yes. I wanted to frighten you a bit, to see how you'd react. What if you had crushed me? Not a chance. I aim to just miss you. Not a chance, huh? A blunder can easily happen. But I shouted to warn you. And anyway, everything turned out fine, didn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I really shouldn't. My father wants to tell you it all himself. Come on, then. All right. I'll tell you. After the celebrated Hispaniola expedition, Long John set up with his family on Emerald Island. He had two good reasons to disappear to that godforsaken place. To escape from the king's justice and from the pirates. The years go by. When illness carries off his wife, the old man worries about his daughter's future. Who'll watch over her when it's his turn to pass on? Who'll bring her back to civilization? Neither a pirate nor an outlaw, but an honest and loyal fellow. In fact, Long John has but one friend worthy of his trust, Jim Hawkins. To incite Jim to come, Long John can't simply send a clearly worded invitation that would lead to disaster if his enemies intercepted the message. So, he drafts his will, accompanied by an enigma and a treasure map. The route is carefully prepared in order to test the young man. Pepita is instructed to monitor his progress. She has to observe his reactions and forge an opinion about him. If she likes the boy, she'll let him reach the hideout where Long John awaits. If he displeases her, She'll fix things so Jim leaves the island without meeting anybody. We know the outcome. Jim saves Pepita, and a young lady breaks the rules by confiding in him. It's my father who should have explained all that to you at the end of your journey. But you're almost there anyway, so I imagine it doesn't make much difference. In the most inaccessible spot on the island, near the Blood River Falls. Let's go see him together. No! He'll be angry if he sees that I didn't play my role till the very end. Give me a little head start, and then you leave. You have the map and the enigma to guide you. Have it your own way, then. Be patient. It's almost over. I have to go now. See you at the falls. <laughs> Pete has been gone quite a while. It's time for me to get moving. Black flag? What could that mean? The pirates! Hey, that 
degenerate. Didn't Morgan tell us to go round the whole island? If you like to hire ourselves, Morgan will lucky he set his hook on the lass and she'll take him direct to Long John for sure. When the old man's got what's coming to him, we'll be off. Think we'll have to wait long? I almost hope so. Thanks to this tafia we come upon in the fort, we can keep us busy. <laughs> You're down in of a dram. Listening to the pirates, Jim realizes the seriousness of the situation. Devil only knows how Morgan and his gang found Emerald Island. They've come to hunt down Long John and kill him. While hugging the coastline to find a safe mooring, they surprise their enemy's daughter. Morgan has forced Pepita to guide him to the headwaters of Blood River. Two of his men accompany him. Others were ordered to explore the island. Once out of sight of their chief, they prefer getting drunk. By thunder, I have a bunch of buccaneers on my hands. I think I'll start by dealing with those two drunks in front of the fort. would break. move from here if I don't tie up those two drunkards. If they wake up, they could cause me some grief.
not a bad idea, but something's missing. This bellows got a hole in it. Loaded the cannon and adjusted the sight. I can recover the hand spike now. I ought to have a wick. Fine shot, right in the munitions hold. But it's my own ship I've had to sink, and at the same time sacrifice a treasure won with much difficulty. Pirate curse, they've made me pay a heavy tribute. At least the route to the beach is now clear. Let's go to my dinghy and see if I can make my way upriver.
That's not a bad idea. But something's missing. broke my arm. I need something really solid to keep it from closing up. The pirates would have done this, those saboteurs. I've got to plug the hole in the hull of my dinghy. No point worrying about that busted mast. I'll row my way upriver. I could use forceps to get the nails out of these planks. to cock or my boat will ship water. I've got to varnish it to protect the oakum. Repair. Now I can row my way up river. Rusty. I'll use an anchor hitch to keep it from fraying my rope.
Pirates are up there. If I'd gone up, they'd have filled me with lead. Well, what do you suggest I do? The Enigma with Duggars! You'll soon seal its fate, allowing you to traverse the watery gate. Peter, go! And just why'd we do that? She didn't do anything to you. Could be we'd release her. <laughs> Could be. It's Long John we want to talk to. Tell him to come up and see us. If he comes, we'll let her Peter go. Ah, that's claptrap, that is. Don't tell me you don't know the whereabouts of your old mate. Oh, ha ha, cause you ain't got no choice. <laughs> We've got the girl. Don't give in, Jim. Ah. You shrimp. Open your bar one more time or rip your head off. A treasure map? It's a trick. We've been duped once by a fake map, and that cost us a bunch of years on a desert island. If we were to win, it was because we took promises for ready money. That won't happen twice. Hey, Jim Hawkins, listen close. It ain't the map we's after, but the treasure, and nothing less. You go get it for it. If you really got treasure, you'll put it in the box. We'll hoist her up, and after, Mark, I said after, we'll free the shrimp. Ahoy up there. I've put something in the box. What the? Where are them piasters, them doubloons, them guineas, and the pistols? Where's the treasure? What's this junk you sent up? Look closer. That junk is worth a fortune. I cast it with coins from a treasure trove. Gold and silver coins. Gold and silver? That ain't real. Let me see. Copper's what it is. Ah, damn his eyes. Jim, your blasted treasure's nothing but copper. Who do you take me for? Huh? No, it isn't, I assure you. Ah, shut up. I can recognize copper when I see this. You've been taking me for a bloody fool. Ah, shiver, Mr. Shiver, I'm throwing your treasure in the water. And the next time, it's Peter I throw. No, don't, don't you try tricking me no more.
The enigma with daggers, you'll soon seal its fate, allowing you to traverse the watery gate. This time, I'm close to the end of the route. Long John! Ah, Jim, at last! I was expecting you sooner. Do you realize I almost left my hide in your blasted treasure hunt? Yet here ye be, full of spunk and ready to take on new challenges. Like freeing a bonny lass captured by heathen pirates. Your daughter, Pepita? Ah, so she spoke to ye. I forbade her to do so, but no matter. If she disobeyed me, then it means she has feelings like for you. One more reason to set her free smartly, and to punish that scurvy dog, Morgan, who dared take her hostage. You'll find a way. You can't tell me Morgan and his gang of drunkards will hold you up for long. I'm old and kimp, Jim. You gotta take up the gauntlet now. Don't you be listening to Morgan and trust me. Soon as you freed Pepita, I'll explain. I've had mysteries enough. Why won't you tell me everything now? There'll be a time for action and a time for parleying. Get rid of Morgan, who wants to send a lot of us down to join Davy Jones. Then, I promise he won't be disappointed. We be in the caverns where the Indians worship their snake god. An excellent hiding place. I holds up here whenever strangers be on the island. Hmm. So long as you let them be, them snakes don't attack. They come in here for a little siesta in the shade, when it be burning hot outside. Exactly. That's just what me enemies would have thought if the letter had fallen into their hands. And that would have advanced my interests. I thought you'd been killed on the beach. I found your knife there. Arrgh. So that's where she were. Must have lost it when I was a-hunting for shellfish. I ain't certain. I got an idea about how things must have happened. There be but one person knew of my presence on Emerald Island. Quiet Jack. He brought supplies twice a year. I entrusted him with me parrot and the message. But I took care to make sure Jack didn't meet ye directly. He were to free the parrot in sight of your ship and let it carry you the letter. I suppose Morgan and his bunch happened on poor Jack. He ain't the chatty sort, but pirates know how to untie a tongue. They must have made him give up the island's position. Lucky they didn't get the parrot, and you got the message. 